At that time when it started, it was a Red Cross home for crippled children. Then the word crippled was not very attractive. So it began to be, it began to change to Red Cross home for the physically disabled children at first. The home for the disabled has a very interesting historical beginning because you have to go back to World War II. Now Singapore had gone through four years of malnutrition, tropical diseases like malaria, typhoid, poliomyelitis, all this took their toll. And by that time, there was a large number of people who were not in good health. And worst of all were the children. A large number of children were suffering from tuberculosis, not only of the lungs, but also of the bones, the joints, the spine, and uh, many disabled children who had contracted poliomyelitis. In those days, it used to be called infantile paralysis. And what happened was then, this home that was set up in 1952 was on prime land by the sea in Changi, and this land became necessary for the government to have to acquire to build a new airport. And so they were relocated to Changi Point. And there we stayed for about maybe eight, nine years until the 1980s, because that was in Changi, far away from the city. And we, we were offered an alternative site at Princess Elizabeth Estate. And that was a primary school that had been vacated. And so that, that building and land was given to us to start a new home. And this home became known as the Red Cross Home for the Disabled. And that's how the Red Cross Home was set up. In the beginning, I was uh, very reluctant, yeah, because I never was in contact with uh, disabled people. Actually, I have to admit, I was afraid. I felt very scared. Yes, very, 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 very scared. So I came here, and uh, I was uh, very much amazed to see all those people. They're actually very friendly also. So sometimes if you don't take the first move, they will be the one who take it. So it's just, um, it all started with a high, yeah. Yeah, and that is, that is really what, uh, what I appreciated. The objective that uh, being there is actually to make friends with them. How easy it is to get a smile. So I'll always have to take the first move. It's not only the red race, it's not only making money, yeah. Most of us are pretty, pretty well privileged, as in we have everything back at home. You really come down to earth. Yeah, and you see that you have the one side in your, in your business life and all the glamour and all this, and then you come here. They too realize that they are very fortunate. So sometimes if you don't come out and see the world, you don't really see what other people are facing in their life. I think you feel much more humble when you do this. Yeah. The Red Cross Home actually relies on volunteers so much to support the work that they do. Although a lot of them have been here for a long time, quite often they will move, so there's always a need to find more volunteers. They don't ask a lot, yeah? They only ask for your time. For me, it's the highlight of my week. I come in every Friday. Normally we would talk to them. Try to help out with feeding. We would joke with them, uh, have some fun, some laughter. Reading stories, singing. So we went room by room to, to sing to them. And when we sing, uh, the, the volunteers are happy and you can also see the residents, their, their reactions. Uh, make them happy. Just interacting with the residents. It's just amazing because we, we can see the joy on their faces when somebody is interacting with them and it, it just gives us so much joy. And when they ask you, when will you come back? It, it makes my week. It's like a family. I think everybody can feel more enriched by um, accepting that people aren't perfect. Let's feel it with life. I was wanting to do something like this and so uh, it was fantastic. You're doing something that is meaningful to others. Don't wait to be asked. Come and serve together with us. There have been so many. There have been so many happy moments. It's super good. <laughs> yeah. Coming here is good, 
Yeah, coming back is better. Coming on a regular basis is better. Every time I visit, I, I feel happy. Okay, got it. <laughs> 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 yes, okay. Yes. <laughs> okay.